Welcome back to Barbecue with Greg. Let's put that meat on the grill. Let's get started. Welcome back, barbecue friends. Today, we're gonna cook a nice prime rib roast here on the Louisiana Grills Pellet Grill. We're gonna fire this up. We're gonna set it at a temperature of 250 degrees. Okay, while that's warming up, let's get our meat ready. Okay, I got this beautiful prime rib roast from my local butcher shop. What we're gonna do to this is salt and pepper only. Sprinkle some salt on there. Just cover this until our grill's ready. All right, the grill's reached our temperature of 250 degrees. Let's put that meat on. All right, we're gonna put this in the center of our cooking area here. I got the bone side down. I'm gonna put a temperature probe in here just to monitor things. Put that right in the center. Okay, we'll close our lid. We're gonna check back on this when we reach an interior temperature of 125 degrees and I'll show you what I'm gonna do next. So my plan is once this beef prime rib is up to our temperature of 125 degrees, I'm gonna pull it off the pellet grill here, let it rest, then I'm gonna fire up a kettle grill, get a nice searing bed of coals going, and we're just gonna sear the outside of that before we serve it, get a nice crust on the outside just before we slice it and serve it. So I'll see you back when this reaches 125. All right, we're getting close to this prime rib, reaching our temperature of 125. So in the meantime, I'm gonna fire up this kettle grill. I wanna get the coals nice and hot. That way, once that prime rib is rested, I wanna sear it here over the fire, just get that nice crest. Okay, it's nice to have a little kettle grill like this so when that prime rib comes off I can get such a nice temperature on these grill grates for a nice sear. So I'm going to dump my hot coals in here, get it ready. Alright, our beef prime rib has been on for 2 hours 45 minutes. It's now met a temperature of 125 internal. Time to pull this off. Okay, it is just looking beautiful here. All right, we're gonna take that off. I'm gonna put it on the tray here, cover it, let it rest. Then I'm gonna put it over here. We're gonna sear it on the kettle grill. Okay, our prime rib roast is now rested. Now we're ready for the kettle grill. Give that final sear. Okay, here we are, let's take this off. What I wanna do, I wanna cut the strings off and I wanna separate the bone from the meat and sear all the meat all around. So, we'll cut those strings off. Okay, we got our bone, we got our meat. Let's get this on the grill. There, you see I got some nice glowing coals there. Very hot. We'll just take a quick temperature reading of the grill here. I'm at 916 degrees. Okay, we're gonna throw those bones down. Get our prime rib on there. There we are. Now this is just a 16 inch kettle, but it does perfect for this.
Okay, let's flip that around. Get the other side. Need some long handled tongs when you're doing this. See that beautiful crest we put on there? Let's get the sides. This side. And we are done searing. I'm gonna bring this in the plate. It's just looking beautiful. Slice it open, I'll take some pictures. I'm gonna end the video here. We're gonna go in and have our dinner. And I'm sure it's just gonna be fantastic. So again, I'll show you some photos. If you like this video, smash that like button. If you wanna see more of these videos, click that subscribe. And we'll see you next time on Barbecue with Greg. Smoking this on the pellet grill first gives you a lot of control over that cook. Searing the outside of this meat before serving really added a lot of flavor. The meat was so tender and flavorful. This was just enjoyed by everyone. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next cook.